How much equity is in your home? If you're in the market to start a new business or add a mother-in-law apartment to your garage, then you know that making these dreams a reality costs a lot of money. But what if the amount in your savings account isn't enough to cover all of the expenses? What other options do you have? One source of money you may want to consider is borrowing against the equity in your home. If you qualify, you can apply for a home equity loan or a home equity line of credit, HELIC. Both of these loan options allow you to have access to money that you can use at your discretion. While this may sound like a win-win, remember, borrowing against the equity in your home means you're using your home as collateral. So, before you sign on the dotted line, make sure you do the research. But if you're ready to move forward, you might be wondering how much equity is in your home. The good news is, determining the amount of equity in your home is a relatively simple process. How much equity is in your home? To get started, contact your lender to find out the balance on your mortgage. You can do this by calling or checking your online statement. The next step is to find out the current value of your home and property. The most accurate assessment will require a home appraisal. You will need to contact a company that does appraisals and have an appraiser come out to your home to do a thorough evaluation of the buildings and property. This does cost money, so be prepared to pay around $250 to $500. Other ways to determine the value is consulting your property tax statement or looking at recent sales in your area. While these methods are free, they don't always provide an accurate assessment of what your home and property are worth. Once you have the balance of your mortgage and the current value of your home, you can figure out the equity. Take the amount you owe and subtract the value from it. This will give you 100% of your equity. For example, let's say you owe $230,000 and the value of your home is $450,000, the remaining balance of $220,000 is your equity. In determining the equity is for information only, doing the calculations on your own is enough. But if you're planning on applying for a home equity loan or a home equity line of credit, you may want to sit down with your lender and go over the figures before making a decision. Some lenders use a loan-to-value ratio to determine equity when a homeowner wants to borrow against the equity. This is a very simple calculation. Current loan balance divided by current appraised value equals LTV. So, if your current loan balance is $135,000 but the current appraisal on your home is $190,000, then your LTV is 0.71 or 71%. This formula can vary a bit as each lender uses its own percentages to determine the maximum amount you can borrow when applying for a home equity loan. That's why it's important to take some time to research all of your options and then work with a lender you trust.